Okay, so um, let me show you um, how to uh, do the parameter cascading, cascading method for estimating ODE, param ODE parameters. Uh, so this is a uh, this is the meta level code. Uh, so uh, uh, so next week, actually Alex uh, developed a R package for for this method, and so he will give a demonstration how to use in the his package to estimating the ODE parameters. Okay. How many of you have learned MATLAB before? Use MATLAB before? Raise your hand. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, uh, so this is a demonstration. So I I, I choose a very simple ODE models like um, dx over dt equal to minus theta x. Okay. So this is very simple. Are linear OD models. So I choose in theta two equal to five, initial condition equal to ten, and uh, so in MATLAB there's a function to solve the OD called the OD forty five. Okay, so um, and I have defined this uh, OD one function is to define the for this. Uh, uh, let me see. Uh, for this, uh, you have to give the OD form. Uh, so this is the ODE uh, one function is to define this ODE function dx equal to minus theta to m x. So very easy to to, pro, to 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 program. You if you want to have using different ODEs, you can change this uh, function here. Okay, so uh, we can do this. Uh, so I solve this uh, uh, between zero and one. I have uh, twenty one equally spaced time points. Okay, so I run this, and then I generate the simulated data. So basically, I put uh, the a uh, noise. So the noise uh, is uh, generated from random normal distribution. So random n in MATLAB means ra generated random normal distributed uh, errors, and uh, the scale stands for the uh, standard deviation of the noise. So here I choose the scale equal to 0 0.1. Okay, so then I add the noise. To the ODE uh, solution, and uh, I treat this as my simulated data with the noise. Okay, so uh, yes, any questions? Okay. okay. Uh, so so then we can plot how the data and the solution looks like. Okay. So this is uh, this is the the data looks like. So the solar line is the true ODE solution, and the point circles. Are the data with noise? Okay, so it's a very small noise. Okay, um, then I generated the basic functions. So, uh, so then, uh, so I using uh, so the FDA there's a package in MATLAB as well, and uh, so 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 like uh, this package uh, um, is uh, in a folder called FDAM, and then you can you in MATLAB you have to add the path of this folder. So then you can record the function inside this folder, okay? So I add past this, and I define the equally spaced nodes, uh, the twenty one equally spaced nodes. So basically one node at uh, each data point with observations, and I choose the cubic splines order equal to four, and then I just similar with R, we just using create uh, underscore b spline underscore basis to generate the um, Cubic B spline functions, and uh, so uh, so this is the uh, this is the basic function evaluated at the time points. This is finite, okay. Uh, just using similar with R, just using evil underscore basis, and then you can also get the first derivative of the basic function evaluated at the time points, and just to put the one. In the evil uh, underscore basis, and then this is the second duty where the basic function evaluated at the time points. Okay, so then um, I generate this uh, um, because I'm want to using the smoothing splines to give my starting value for the basic coefficients. So therefore. I'm doing this uh, uh, smoothing splines 
method. So basically, do remember this is the formula for the basic coefficients. It's phi transpose times phi plus lambda times r inverse times phi transpose times y, right? So this, uh, uh, in MATLAB, it has a, a strange, if you have the, the this, uh, uh, the, this angle is, uh, uh, how, how do you call this? Forward. Forward slash. Forward slash. Then this means the inverse of this term, okay? Um, so so the before this term, it try to calculate the uh, the the integrated square, integrated of uh, with the uh, second duty of the basic functions. Okay, so this is uh, to using the Simpson rules. Okay, and I choose in lambda equal to ten to minus six, and I doing the smoothing uh, splines. So now now I'm look at how the how my starting uh, value for the basic functions looks like. So, uh, so this is the how the fit looks like. So basically here, um, the red lines is the fitted curve, and the black lines is the true curve. And you can see um, my fit. I'm doing a little bit of overfit, but it's okay. I just want to provide the starting values for the basic coefficients. Okay, so um, after we get this, and then I can uh, put this uh, basic functions information like uh, the phi mat, lambda, uh, the derivative, and uh, at these quadrature points. Uh, <coughs> so uh, be because when I do the uh, this parameter cascading method in the inner levels, um, I have to evaluate this uh, integrated square of this uh, differential operator, right? So therefore, I write down this using numerical method and the summation um, of this square of this difference at the quadrature points. Okay, so I. And also give the basic functions, give the uh, observations. Um, so this is the input contains all the basic function information and the data information uh, here. So then I have to uh, I re, re refine my uh, coefficients for the basic basic coefficients. So here I'm doing uh, this is uh, this is uh, the very good optimization function uh, the uh, program in MATLAB called the LSQ9 lean. So this is a function is specifically designed to minimize the least squares problem. Okay, as long as your criterion can be written as a summation of square, then you can use this function. It's super fast, very good. I, I really like these optimization functions. Okay. So for this optimization function, basically you will provide the criterion. This is the inner optimization criterion. I define this function uh, in my separate functions here. Okay, so this is the, when I'm doing the inner optimizations, when I'm doing uh, this step, okay? So, so here uh, I provide, uh, so this is the function of the basic coefficients and uh, conditional on the OD parameters and the input which contain the data information and the basic function information. Okay, so here for this, uh, this one I first get the basic function information and data information, and then I calculate given the coefficients, I can calculate the s hat, right? And then I get the residues is y minus s hat, and then I calculate the the second term on uh, this is C two term. Okay. Remember, I can write down this uh, integral as the square of this difference, right? So, so here I will uh, write down uh, the evaluate this. This is to try to evaluate uh, evaluate uh, l x of t at the quadrature points. So, 
So um, the derivative of the basic functions times the coefficients will be the value of dx at this quadrature point, right? And the basic function times the coefficients will be the value of the x at the quadrature point. So because my basic function is uh, dx equal to minus theta times x, so if I doing this lx will be equal to dx plus theta times x, right? So this is exactly uh, my uh, my l uh, l x of t, right? And uh, also because I'm doing this quadrature um, numerical integral problem, so I also need to put the quadrature weights here. So um, so for LSQ nine lin, uh, actually uh, it uh, don't need to written as a sum of squared. So uh, if you using LSQ nine lin, um, so let's see if you then help. Okay. So this is the help files for the LSQ nine lin. You can see here for the LSQ nine lin, try to solve the nine linear list of squares when the the criterion of the form is the summation of a square of this L function, right? So basically, if you have this form, when you define the criterion, you don't put the summation of square of these terms. You just put a vector form of each one inside the square. Okay. So therefore, for my inner optimizations, I just put the residuals, just this this difference, right? Didn't put the square term inside the square term. And for the quadrature, uh, for the second term, this can also be written the summation of the square term, right? So then I will put the the only put the part inside the square in the vector form. So this is the vector form, okay? So this is the long vector. It's the first uh, summation terms, the all, all those terms, square inside the square, plus the terms inside the square in the C2 as well, okay? So this is how we define the inner optimization levels, okay? So after we, I define this, I can do the inner optimizations, I, but I have to give in the starting values for the ODE parameters, so here, I choose theta zero to be equal to four, and just to um, to get the starting values uh, for the for the basic coefficients. I re refine the basic coefficients here. So, um, so this is the output. So it can give it very fast. It can give like uh, the. Uh, the value of my inner optimization criterion and the normal norm of the step and also number of function uh, counted so it can work very fast you can may notice that uh, when I do these optimizations although I'm able to calculate the derivative here I didn't put the derivative information uh, the reason is because um, uh, this LSQ nine is so good it doesn't need to me to provide a gradient I find okay uh, and the program is much easier in this form. Okay, so uh, so you can see here when you're using the parameter cascading method, you have to provide the initial values for the coefficient very carefully. So I'm doing now. I'm doing for to doing to do the before I'm doing the parameter cascading methods, I estimate the basic coefficients twice. I first estimate the basic coefficient using the smoothing splines. I'm using the smoothing splines estimation as the starting values. I'm doing the the inner optimization again to get another uh, coefficients. Okay, this is the kind of work to make sure you provide uh, uh, good values for the coefficients. Okay, this is uh, very important uh, when you do this uh, iterated method. Um, so this kind of show you the difference. So actually, uh, not a lot. Not very different, right? It's very similar, but still, um, uh, I I I find out uh, it is worse to doing another refine for the basic coefficients. 
and then you can do it using the parameter cascading method. So for the parameter cascading method, basically, uh, you need to provide the initial values for the coefficients. Um, so I put it at the input. This input also contains the basic function information and the data information. So then I'm still using the LSQ9 and in this case, I'm doing the optimization um, for the outer optimizations, okay? So, uh, so this is my outer optimizations. So basically here, for my outer optimizations, I have the starting uh, the it's a function of theta, OD parameters, and some input, okay? So basically, in these levels, this is uh, because the the inner optimization is inside the outer optimizations. So therefore, here for this one, basically for given values of the theta, you will do the inner optimization in this level. Okay. So in this uh, outer optimization functions, you will have uh, inner optimizations um, embedded inside. Okay. So so here you will calculate the coefficients basic coefficients for given OD parameters theta, okay? So then, if after you get the coefficients, you can calculate the, the residuals, right? So, so this, is, this is the residuals, right? Y minus phi times C hat. C hat is exactly the optimization from the inner optimizations, right? So therefore, I have this, uh, this one to provide my are residuals. So this is my in auto optimizations, and uh, so I need to provide the starting values for theta, and uh, then uh, give the input, and then I can uh, get the estimations. So now let me run this. Um, so this is the other, this is the estimations. So Four is the true values. Four point nine is the the estimations. Okay, so you can see here it is very fast actually. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, and uh, so so this is a uh, uh, so one thing you may uh, I didn't emphasize that you can see here for my lambda I put a very big values for the lambda. Okay, just uh. As I as I explained in my lectures, uh, for this parameter cascading method, you want your smooth function to be close to the OD solution. Therefore, you want to put a large value of lambda on, on the second criterion here. Okay. Any questions? Is this good? Okay. So uh, so 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 next. Uh, uh, so 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 Alex has developed a. Uh, uh, similar versions in R, and uh, and and so he will he will um, explain uh, his package uh, uh, next week.